It's been over a week since FixDF3 began and Valve still hasn't said anything. Even after a review bomb and many people calling them out, there has been radio silence. So we need to take it up a step. First of all, let's talk about the issue at hand. The problem seems like it is about the bots in TF2, but the main problem is with Valve. TF2 isn't the only Valve game suffering from cheating issues. All of the Valve multiplayer games have poor anti-cheat measures. Valve avoids maintaining their games, calling it the treadmill work, and lets the player base deal with it. Instead of fixing these issues, they would rather make yet another live service competitive third person Dota 2 game. Come on Valve, you ha you're already spread thin. How are you gonna manage multiple live service games at the same time? The answer is that you won't. This is why Team Fortress 2 is pretty much abandoned by, Val by Valve. I call it abandoned because there is no way Valve doesn't know. They know how terrible this game has become, yet they keep it alive for two reasons. Reputation and money. Reputation because TF2 is a really famous and beloved game. It would be a real shame to shut it down if they did, People wouldn't be okay with that. Money, because TF2 has a decent sized economy and every year multiple cases and tons are being added to the game that probably makes Valve millions of dollars for little to no work. In the end, Valve is a company. If they aren't going to do something about the bots after being called out so many times for so many years, then we should switch our target to their income. For the next TF2 seasonal updates, I wish everyone would not buy anything. Do not buy anything from the in-game store, do not unbox cases, or play Man vs Machine tours. This will give Valve three chances. A. Ignore the losses and keep TF2 on life support. B. Do something. C. Shut down TF2 altogether. Option A is possible, but Valve would have to go negative, basically lose money running TF2. They could be scared of the negative consequences of shutting down TF2 and keep it on life support. This has been the case for so long and Valve could technically ignore all of this and enjoy making their next Dota game. Option B is what we want. Valve addresses our concerns and promises a solution. I am not talking about paywalling TF2 or not letting free to players to talk. A real solution, doing the treadmill work. I feel like this is the most likely option considering how many people want this game to return to its glory days. There are multiple ways TF2 can be fixed. They can hire more people or even a separate studio to work on TF2. Option C is the nuclear option. Valve simply says, forget it, we got no time for this and decides to, it is best to stop altogether. This would probably hurt Valve more than we realize. I don't believe Valve fans would let it slide under the rug. It would be actually be, be, be big news. Not only would they lose one of their income streams, but the community's trust would reach an all-time low. And people would be scared of investing in Valve in-game economies such as Counter-Strike 2 items. If you're unhappy about the game, vote with your wallet. Stop giving your money to Valve by purchasing things in the game. It's not even worth it. Gambling is already terrible. I bet Valve employees laugh their asses off when they release a new seasonal case and see players unboxing them. Stop being a whale. Obviously, Valve prints money with Steam. Technically, they shouldn't care if they make money or not in TF2. But I say otherwise. Valve still cares about the money. That is what every company does. If you make more money, that is a good thing. If you start losing money instead, it is a clear indication that you're doing something wrong. Valve will notice this and have to do something. So boycotting TF2 isn't about bankrupting Valve or anything, it is about sending a message that we had enough. Anyways, thank you for listening to me for today and see you in the next video. Bye.